Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube video channel again. Today I will show you a special case. We're going to do the digital impression for the implant tube number 13. So let's go with me and follow me to see how this process. We're gonna do the implant impression today. So guys, we are scanning the lower arc because uh, while waiting for Jason talking to um, um, the front desk about their, um, the financial planning, I can go ahead and start with taking the impression on the bottom tube right away. The bottom tube is the one that just the opposing arm of the implant tube number 13. So now I'm going to go ahead and try to scan the information here. So it's going to save my time. Uh, he noted that the patient wearing braces, there's a lot of overgrowth of the gum. Uh, this is something that using the model, you can tell a patient to do better hygiene here. Anyway, uh, the, uh, this, the um, scan is um, working pretty well. The music is on. That indicates that you are scanning. Um, I'm excited for this process here. Yeah. Here is the um, I took out the heel and the button, and you can see how beautiful the uh, the uh, t-shirt is. The skin body, the two mark one two that's for the lingo, and this is for the buckle. Again, lingo with two mark buckle. So my boy to go in in the right orientation. Bunko have only one single it's mark. It's only After placing that, we had to take an x-ray to confirm that everything looked good on the x-ray before we go ahead and scan in the upper arm. Just remember that we had to scan, uh, taking the x-ray to make sure that you have no gap between the uh, scan body. And so before you start scanning the uh, upper tube to finish up the case, again we are scanning right now. Uh, the so upper we'll arc. Try to get as much information as possible. The hard part is because the patient is wearing braces, so there is some metal um, detection there, and sometimes uh, the computer recognize metal, or sometimes they they don't. It's a little bit tricky. As you can see, there's a lot of little error, uh, blue error indicator, some area that I have to go back and rescan. I don't have to do all of them. I just need to know uh, if I can get a good scan on the uh, the uh, inter uh, space between number uh, 12 and number 14. So that's what I'm aiming for. So I don't have to worry about a lot about anything else. It's a tip for you guys after you using the scan body put in the implant uh, area and then scan you have to remove that in order for you to take the bite registration so I'm, I just took it out uh, and I now I put the healing abutment back so that way the patient can completely bite out when we take the bite registration otherwise you have a, a impediment of the uh, skin uh, body all right so now the patient is ready to take the bite registration the patient able to bite completely down that's how you give instruction to patient and yet you can see that the uh, color is uh, capturing the gray color indicate that you're not getting any registration yet. So as soon as this gray turn into a light green, that indicate that you are almost getting the bite right now. And then, but, so that, that's what I'm talking about, a little yellow color here. It's indicate that you are almost getting the bite, but not quite yet. You have to hear a click with the sound and it turn everything into green that indicate that you you actually got the the bite registration so now <clears throat> the way the it look right now is almost there it be patient scan a little more extra in a buckle space up the both sides top and bottom and as soon as you hear a click you are done can't wait for this to be done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Done. That's it. All right. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys like it. And don't forget to uh, subscribe and follow us on this YouTube channel. Thank you.